Hey YouTube, today I would like to share unboxing and a review video for a new video card that I recently purchased from the website newegg.com. In fact, if you look at the box, it actually says review me. Okay, so uh, first of all, I want to talk about the my old video card and my new video card. The old one is by the company EVGA and it was uh, NVIDIA 6600 GT and the new one is uh, Gigabit by uh, GTX 750. Now, if you um, if you don't know um, uh, the the sources to make a good decision, I encourage you to visit website uh, called uh, GPUBoss.com, and uh, it is a really great website where you can compare two cards next to each other. So let's take a look at my card really fast. Okay, so the old card uh, clock speed was 540 megahertz. The new one is doubled, which is 95% faster. Also higher uh, effective memory, 800 megahertz versus 5000. And the third um, uh, line is extremely important. This is where it actually measures the performance of the card and it tells you that in, um, in a score. So my old uh, score is 102 versus the new one is 3000. Okay, and, and if you look at the bottom, it actually says more render output processors. So the old card had a four processors and they used to work at 500 megahertz a second. The new card has 16 processors and they work at 1000 megahertz per, mega, megahertz per second. I'm sorry. As far as shading units, again, this is CUDA core. So if you do a lot of um, rendering for the video um, um, and you, you want to make sure that the video um, exports uh, as fast as you can, you should take a look at the uh, shading units, or sometimes they're called also called CUDA cores. So my card has 512, which is a huge upgrade from what I had right now. However, the new cards are uh, a little over 1600 CUDA cores. So obviously the cards improved a lot. I'm gonna go back to a uh, line number three and say that even though my card had 100 points, as far as performance score and the new one has 3200 right now the i believe the fastest card right now it has um about 9800 score and 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 right now this is december 2014 i believe this is nvidia 980 and it has uh close to 10000 uh, benchmark score so it's three times higher than my new upgraded card okay so uh cards really got fast uh, since eight years, uh, it is um, the newest card. It is actually literally hundred times faster than my card. So I knew it's time to upgrade, and I did not want to spend uh, too much money on the card. You know, I did not want to go to the store and get a three hundred fifty dollar or five hundred or seven hundred dollar card. I wanted to keep it under budget because it's Christmas time, and I'm extremely happy with the new uh, ninety four dollar purchase that I made at the new X. So let's take a look a little bit um, further. Um, this is the website gpuboss.com, the one I was referring to. All you have to do is click compare, uh, put two video cards together, and it will give you all the specs. Um, so this is a really great website. Now the second website that I like to use, uh, it is by the company videocardbench.net and what's really good about this website is at the right side you can see uh, current uh, price um, for how much this card is available on websites such as Amazon or Newegg. So those two websites are really, really useful um, to make um, uh, quite a quick decision. Now, I do want to talk about the second fact is how to get the best performance for a dollar and if you go back to website videocardbenchmark.net you will see that they have a actually graph is where you can see the best value cards video cards and they have the same for cpu and and other components so the top two cards that i noticed and i really wanted to stick with gtx nvidia at this point i did not want to go with amd because on the other test, when I tried to render the videos, for some reason, um, eight, you know, ATI, ATI video cards, they were not effective. On the Mercury engine, it was enabled, but they were not doing any GPU acceleration. And I tried four different computers, and, and my friends never had a lock. 
Okay, so when I was shopping for a new card, when I wanted to upgrade my system, I really did not want to go out and spend, uh, you know, three or five or seven hundred dollars for the video card. Uh, I'm not much too into video gaming. Um, I did want it a newer card because mine was so old and I just didn't want to perform whatsoever. I mean, a benchmark score is 100. Obviously, I wanted much stronger video card, but I did not want to uh, break my, you know, checking or saving account. So. So the first thing, um, it came with the package, it was well um, wrapped, um, New Egg did send me a little brochure, which um, um, I kind of like to flip around once in a while, um, um, it is a quiet card, it has a big um, a fan, it looks pretty good, um, this is just the packaging I'm unwrapping, oh, I did like the fact that all the connectors were, had a plastic uh, protective um, I'm not sure how to call them caps, um, which was uh, very nice of uh, a gigabyte to include that. Here we go. So you can see it has f uh, two HDMI ports and it has a uh, two um, regular uh, ports. Um, they obviously, take a look at the big um, a fan for a heatsink. And here I'm just giving you um, uh, a closer view of the card. Now, as far as the size of the card, compare this is iPhone 5. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, my computer screen. How this card, how this old card and the new card is going to do uh, inside my computer. Now I'm not going to test uh, on uh, many games, but I'm just going to show you um, a few of them. Here we go. The first game is War of Thunder. Um, this is the game that came as a bonus with the new card and when I punched in this game to the old card this is my original card that had a 103 benchmark it is processing game at 10 frames per second and you can see that it right now it's 10.8 and sometimes it was dropping as low as 7.8 frames per second and few times it dropped about 11 frames per second okay so going back to my card you can see original is at the right side, smaller, new card, it is beefier card, it is twice thicker, and it does look much, much better. Here we go. So this is the time to put a new card inside the computer and see how, how well is it going to do in, in the same game. Here we go. All right, this is a removal and the new game right here. Same game, same airplane, 154 frames per second. That's right. I was actually shocked. I expected maybe 35, 35 frames per second. I never expected 154 frames per second. Take a look at it. The new one way outperformed. Now as far as Donkey game, my son really likes this game called Donkey Online. Um, um, Donkey Online is actually different because you don't actually install game you can see how much it lags because you play this game online using uh, logging in using safari or internet explorer or google chrome and this is um this is the recorder of the screen on my uh, old original card um, nvidia 6600 gt does it lag a lot absolutely it lags quite a bit and i want to let you know that when i'm recording the screen i'm not using any software to slow down fps i'm actually uh, recording the screen right now using um uh, you know a regular external uh, camcorder i'm using actually dslr a camera to record my screen so um it's not slowing down the computer because a lot of people are using uh software to record the screen which is fine but here uh, but, but the software slow slows down uh, frames per second computer performance uh so to make this test fair between old and new card, I'm using actually uh, a regular camera to record the screen, the monitor screen, okay? So you can see it lags a lot, especially right here. When I turn the tank a lot, uh, it lags a lot. This is original card and um, uh, I'm not really good at Tanki game. My son is really good at his Tanki game. As he, you can see, he, has a, he, he got a new... Um, I see then he got a new tank, I believe this is M2, and uh, he got a Sida M1. Um, so um, I'm, I'm here just to show you how much uh, the game lags. Now here I'm actually just installed new card and I'm using Internet Explorer. 
and right away I noticed a huge difference. Uh, the game is much, much smoother. Um, this is, um, you can see it's 50, 44 frames per second, 45, but it's in the green zone. Um, as you can see one time, I think it dropped to 28, but quickly it went up to 50, so it stays up here, it stays in 40s and 50s. Um, much, much better card, much, much better card. But Internet Explorer doesn't work really good with Tanky Game. I, I wrote to them, um, you know, Safari, or PC edition, not great either. But, you know, what can they do the best is Google Chrome, and Google Chrome works awful on Tanky Online. So um, I did notice the difference in, in performance, but I still haven't solved the problem as far as this Tanky. Um, uh, looks like I still need a better card. Here we go. Now this is going to be on Google Chrome, a new card and a Google Chrome. And you're going to see that even that I have a new card, because I'm using Google Chrome instead of Internet Explorer, it still lags, okay? So Tanki Online, um, I wish they would, right here, look at this. Look at this huge freeze for like, what, three seconds. Um, and it's really kind of annoying to have this freezer. Here's going to be another one. Take a look at this one. This was a big one right now. One, two, three, three and a half seconds. Two and a half to three and a half seconds. So, okay, so when it comes to the performance, uh, obviously Internet Explorer is clear winner and Safari. However, on the PC version, I was not able to launch Tanki on Safari. All through my friend did it. So Safari and Tanki works best on Mac. As far as in here, Internet Explorer gave me much higher frames per second. However, on Internet Explorer, sometimes think uh, when you let go of the controls, sometimes think still um, goes forward for about a second. Or when you turn to it, it can still deter it travel for extra second or half a second, and only then it stops. On Chrome, as you can see, frames per second are much lower. However, the tank is snappy. You let go of the controls turret stops or the tank stops. So, uh, unfortunately, there is no perfect solution. I wish uh, Tank Online would go ahead and, and, and produce um, actual um, EXE file that people can download and experience the game a little bit richer. Okay, so that's my review. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you find it useful. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to tell me, uh, any suggestions, please free, free to comment. Thank you so much. Bye now.